Oh my god, I gotta redo that. <laughs> Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching Star Wars A New Hope. I posted a couple days ago in the community notes announcing that we're gonna be starting Star Wars, right? Now, if you've been following my channel for a little bit of time now, it's no secret, I have seen Star Wars. I am very familiar with it. It is my favorite franchise. And I posted a little hint about something. I said, I posted a picture of Anakin. That photo I posted of Anakin was very intentional. I said, there's also a surprise in this video. The picture is a super subtle hint. Comment down below what you think it is. And one person actually guessed it right. It was Esteban underscore 1221. So shout out to you, you got it right. And if you haven't noticed, I got my braces off. We finally got them off. It feels super weird to not have braces anymore, but this is the first video without the braces. And that's kind of why it took me so long to get to Star Wars. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. This, this might sound really dumb, but to me, I wanted the first video I did with without the braces to be Star Wars. Why? I don't know. It just, it felt right. It felt like it had to be Star Wars because I talk about it so much in my videos. I reference it so much. I figured the perfect video to do without the braces would be a Star Wars rewatch. I've been obsessed with Star Wars since I was a, a wee little lad. Say I have so many memories that revolves around Star Wars. Uh, fun fact, I saw Revenge of the the Sith in theaters. I was five years old when that movie came out, but I saw it in theaters. I remember that. Now, what's funny is when I first got into Star Wars, you know, I was just a kid and I was like, oh, lightsabers, fights, action, space battles. This is awesome. But then I really started to appreciate it more and more as I got older. I went through my initial phase falling in love with Star Wars. And then I went through a phase where I'm like, okay, that was cool. And then I, you know, I just was on the other things in my life, but then I came back to it, saw it from a completely different perspective. Like I can now see the internal struggle in Anakin. And I was like, like I knew it was there, but I didn't realize the depth that was behind it. And then just in the past three years, I found another new love for it because I went even deeper into that rabbit hole for Star Wars and it's just, Mm, better and better every single time you learn more and more about it every single time and it's just so damn good so this is a rewatch obviously and i will reiterate that every single video i will make it very clear in the intro of every single video that this is not a first time reaction this is a rewatch just for anyone who's not familiar with my channel and doesn't know that i have seen star wars i will make it very clear in the beginning of every single video i mean this is the first time this week i'm just kidding now i figured the best place to start is the original release order four five six one two three seven eight nine um okay i probably haven't watched this movie from beginning to end in probably a year and a half i would say it's it's been a minute every time i've had like the urge to watch a star wars movie I've honestly just watched the reaction video to it because sometimes I just don't have time to sit down and watch a movie for my own pleasure. So it's like, okay, I have an urge to watch Star Wars and I can get a reaction video done in like 25, 30 minutes, you know? It's really interesting to see other people's perspective of it. And that's the whole point of this channel. But fun fact, Star Wars is why this channel exists because one day, like I had no idea about this niche. Like I've never seen a reaction video to a movie before on YouTube. And like, I've been watching YouTube since like 2008, right back in the day when it was just cat videos. Besides like the random videos like that, the first people I actually remember watching was obviously Smosh. Fun fact, Smosh is from my hometown, which is absolutely insane. That blew my mind when I found that out. And then I got into like Corridor Digital, Freddie Wong back in like 2010, 11-ish. And I've never seen a reaction video to a movie. And just one day I pops up in my feed. It was a reaction video to A New Hope. And I'm like, I'm like, what's this? You know, so I click on it and I'm like, holy shit, this is awesome. You know, and they just, I just went down a rabbit hole of watching people, of just watching people react to the movies. Like the first video I saw, I watched all their other videos on it. And then I was like, okay, I finished every single Star Wars movie on their channel. Let me find someone else. And I just went down a rabbit hole doing that. And I found a lot of my favorite reactors because of that. And some of them are so good, dude. Some Star Wars reaction videos are so good. I watched a lot of the videos and I was like, this looks really damn fun. And so then I started my own channel because it just looked like so much fun. And here we are today. But yeah, I'm super excited to start the Star Wars marathon. So 
I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next couple Star Wars movies will also be available on Patreon or YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. <laughs> a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. <sighs> Feels good. Let's go. If you saw Star Wars in theaters in 1977, I want you to comment down below what that experience was like. I need to know. What was your reaction? Or like, what were you thinking the first time you read that opening crawl? Like you're in theaters and you're like, oh, let's check this movie out. And you're, you read that, like, what were you thinking after you read that? Oh. The boys. They shut down the main reactor. We'll be destroyed for sure. Mm. We're doomed. Just <laughs> walks right out. <laughs> the boy. What was your reaction to seeing him walk through right there? I bet it was something like, who the hell is that? <sighs> there she is. Where are those transmissions? What mm. have you done with those plans? <laughs> We're intercepting those transmissions. Uh, uh, this is a consular ship. Uh, oh, and you. <sighs> Commander, tear this ship apart until you found those plans and bring me the passengers. Mm. I want, I them, want alive. them alive. Yeah. Sets the tone right away for Vader. He does not care. He'll just kill you. If you. If you're not going to help him, he's just going to kill you. There's one. Set for stun. <laughs> They set their shit for stun and she just fucking caps on them. <laughs> Actually, since it's been a pretty long time since I've seen this movie in full, instead of just like watching reaction videos where it's just the highlights, there's a lot of dialogue that I don't remember. So it's gonna be nice to hear all that again. So bold. The Imperial Senate will not still for this. When they hear you've attacked a diplomatic- Don't act so surprised, Your Highness. You weren't on any mercy mission this time. Several transmissions were beamed to the ship by rebel spies. I want to know what happened to the plans they sent you. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and, and a traitor. And traitor. Take, Take her away. away. Yeah. <sighs> and then inform the Senate that all aboard were killed. Lord Vader? She must have hidden the plans in the escape pod. Set a detachment down to retrieve them. See to it personally. What a great opening scene. I feel like it sets the tone perfectly. You know right away, Darth Vader is menacing. He does not care. He, he will kill you. You'll be malfunctioning within a day, you near it scrap pile. <laughs> and don't let me catch you following me, begging for help. Oh my god. 3PO, chill out. So moody and pessimistic. But that's why we love him, so... <laughs> no more adventures. I'm not Aww. going that way. <laughs> mm. Oh, R2 D2 is all alone. Dude, he's like a scared dog, and it's so sad to see. Mm. Dude, the jaw was creeped me out when I was a kid. When I was like really young. <laughs> Yep, and they got see they got three VO2. <laughs> oh, two D2, it is you, it mm -hmm. is you. Oh, he's so happy to see him. You'll always find your way back to each other. Okay, what do you guys think about like the added CGI shots like this? Like the added CGI kind of takes away from the movie. Cause to me, like it doesn't really bother me. I don't think it was necessary personally. Sir Troy. Mm-hmm. There it is. Hey, all right, fine. Let's go. Luke. Ah, oh, the music. The theme. Translator, be sure it speaks Bachi. Doesn't look like we have much of a choice. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take the red one. Can you speak Bachi? Of course I can, sir. It's like a second language to me. I'm a yeah, All right, in. shut up. I'll take this. <laughs> shut up. Take these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up for dinner. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some, some power converters. You can waste time with your friends <laughs> when your chores are done. Now, come. Oh, dear. So sad. 
This R2 unit has a bad motivator, look! That pretty much just saved the entire galaxy right there. Excuse me, sir, but that R2 unit is in prime condition, a real bargain. What about that one? What about that blue one? We'll take that one. Okay, what do you guys think about the theory? That R2 told the red droid what's what's really going on here and how important this information is so it could get the Obi-Wan. And so the red droid did that intentionally. Like, that's a pretty cool theory. I don't know if it's been, I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's confirmed. But I like to think it is. You got a lot of carbon scoring here. Looks like you boys have seen a lot of action. Light work. You know of the rebellion against the Empire? That's mm. how we came to be in your service, if you take my meaning, sir. <laughs> Have you been in many battles? Several, I think. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's not much to tell. Okay, I know C-3PO's mind was wiped after Revenge of the Sith. And the dialogue really supports that right now. I like it. I know R2's wasn't. He remembers everything. Cruiser, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Oh, he says it's nothing, sir. Merely a malfunction. Old data. Pay it no mind. Who is she? She's beautiful. Luke, you don't mean that, dog. You don't mean that. Stop looking at her like that. He says that he is the property of Obi-Wan Kenobi, a resident of these parts. And it's a private message for him. Well, I don't know anyone named Obi-Wan, but... Old Ben lives out beyond the Dune Sea. He's kind of a strange old hermit. Wait a minute, where'd she go? Bring her back! Play back the entire message! What message? <laughs> the one you've just been... He's just pump faking you. He got you interested and he pulled back. Did that on purpose. No, I don't think he likes you at all. <laughs> no, I don't like you either. <laughs> That's how you know they're good friends. You know, I think that R2 unit we bought might have been stolen. What makes you think that? Mm. Well, I stumbled across a recording while I was cleaning him. He says he belongs to someone called Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh. Just the way they looked at each other. That wizard's just a crazy old man. But tomorrow I want you to take that R2 unit to anchor head and have its memory erased. But what if this Obi-Wan comes looking for? He won't. I don't think he exists anymore. He died about the same time as your father. <sighs> you knew my father? Just forget it. Dude, look, shutting that conversation down so quickly is only going to make Luke even more curious. Like, he's already curious. The fact he responded so quickly to, like, he knew my father. That's why he wants R2's memory wipe so quick. He wants him to harvest. <laughs> harvest is when I need you the most. Yep. Oh, and he can't stay here forever. Most of his friends have gone. Mm -hmm. It means so much to him. I'll make it up to him next season. You're gonna say the same thing next season. He has too much of his father in him. Oh. That's what I'm afraid. Yeah. For everyone in the theaters watching this for the first time, what did you think after that scene, right? That conversation? You're like, okay, I wanna know more about his father. I'm gonna ask that a lot. Like, what did you guys think in the theaters when you saw this for the first time? Mm. Just some overlooking to the two sons. That R2 unit has always been a problem. He's nowhere in sight. Couldn't we go after him? It's too dangerous with all the sand people around. We'll have to wait until morning. He's committed to the mission. He has to find Ben. Hey, whoa, just where do you think you're going? Master Luke is your rightful owner now. Mm. We'll have no more of this Obi-Wan Kenobi gibberish. <sighs> you have no idea. <laughs> What's wrong with now? There are several creatures approaching from the southeast. Okay, this part scared the shit out of me. The first time I watched this. And people, all right, I can see one of them now. Oh. Far got me good. <laughs> also, yeah, that howl right there by Obi Wan, like, just creeped me out too. I was like, I don't like that. Like, I don't mind now, obviously, but like, as a kid, I was like, what the. F Hello, Hello there. there. Ah. Ben Kenobi? Boy, am I glad to see you. Tell me, young Luke, what brings you out this far? Oh, this little droid. I think he's searching <laughs> for his former master. The way he was looking at R2. Seems to be the property of an Obi-Wan Kenobi. Mm -hmm. Is he a relative oh. of yours? Do you know who he's talking about? Ah, that name. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now that's a name. Well, haven't heard of now that's a name i've not heard in a, a long, long time. time a long time yeah he said he was dead mm. oh he's not dead not yet <laughs> well of course i know him he's me, he's me. yep haven't gone by the name of obi-wan since all before you were born
fucked and you have to abandon that name. There's no sense in you risking yourself on my account. I'm done for. <laughs> no, you're not. Get the hell up right now. <laughs> no, my father didn't fight in the wars. He was a navigator on a spice. Mm -hmm. That's what your uncle told you. He didn't hold with your father's ideals. Thought he should have stayed here and not gotten involved. You fought in the Clone War? <sighs> yes. I was once so a Jedi, Jedi Knight, the same as your father. Ah. I wish I'd known him. Mm -hmm. He was the best Don't star pilot in the, in the galaxy. galaxy. And a, a cunning, cunning warrior. warrior. And he was a good friend. Oh. That one. That one hurts, dude. The delivery on that sounded like he was happy to say it about Anakin. It also hurt him to say that, remembering what happened to him. I think Alec Guinness portrayed that really well. And what I really like about this scene right here is Obi-Wan just drops the Clone Wars on you. And like, obviously I've seen the entire show. And that just makes this scene so much better. It hits so much harder because then you can just recall to every moment back in the Clone Wars of Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Obi-Wan actually fighting in the Clone Wars. But it also makes you really curious as an audience, like what the hell is the Clone Wars, you know? And I think they dropped it perfectly in there. And it's such a genius idea because Starting the entire franchise with this, it makes you think like, wait, there was an entire war before all this that just went on. And the way Obi-Wan talks so highly of Anakin, they're hyping him up between Luke's curiosity of his father and the way Obi-Wan just talked about him. You're like, wait, I, I want to see who he is. I want to see him back in the Clone Wars. And like, it's shocking that this was in the first, very first movie. Watching it for the first time, you feel the empathy like for Obi-Wan. Like I said just before, you feel inside of him when he talks about Anakin. You could feel the joy, but also the sadness inside him when he talks about Anakin. Like you can tell there's definitely some mixed feelings there, framing it as, you know, Vader was once his pupil who betrayed and murdered Anakin. So he obviously feels like he's responsible for it. And we know he does in Revenge of the Sith, but right here, you could really feel it. You could really feel the guilt. So then you go back and watch the Clone Wars and the prequels, and then you know what happens. I think it makes this scene so rewatchable and it just adds so much more weight to the prequels and the Clone Wars and then all that adds so much more weight to this scene. It's so good. It's brilliant. What is it? Your father's lightsaber. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. An elegant weapon for a more civilized age <laughs> before the dark times. Yeah. A young Jedi named Darth Vader who was a pupil of mine until he turned to evil. I regret that I am unable to present my father's request to you in person, but my ship has fallen under attack, <sighs> and I'm afraid my mission to bring you to Alderaan... Oh, that urgency in his eyes. ...vital to the survival of the rebellion, into the memory systems of this R2 unit. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Mm hmm You must learn the ways of the Force, if you're to come with me to Alderaan. <laughs> Alt? I've got work to do. Uh, Luke, in about 20 minutes? No, you don't. <laughs> in movie time, not real time. That's your uncle talking. I suggest we use it. Don't be, be too proud, proud of this technological, technological terror you've constructed. constructed. The, the ability, ability to destroy, destroy a planet is, is insignificant, insignificant next, next to, to the power of the fall. I, I know that line by heart. Only Imperial stormtroopers are so precise. Mm. <laughs> How's the movie just gonna set that up and then... Yeah. If they trace the robots here, they may have learned who they sold them to, and that would lead them back home. Fuck. <sighs> that's, oh, that's so brutal. Damn, we're already 40 minutes into this movie. That flew by. There's nothing you could have done, Luke, had you been there. Yeah. You'd have been killed, too. Mm hmm And the droids would now be in the hands of the Empire. I want to come with you to Alderaan. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I want to learn the ways of the Force and become a Jedi like my father. Mm -hmm. If you want them, let me see your identification. You don't the need to see his identification. Mm -hmm. He can go about his business. I love this song. <laughs> In the first version I ever watched, they showed an entirely different cast in the cantina. Like, I remember Hammerhead. I remember him and I had like a little action figure of him. I don't know if I have it anymore, but I was so bummed when I saw this version for the first time and I was like, wait, where all the originals go? Oh my God. <laughs> this guy with the fucking nutsack on his chin. 
He doesn't like you. <laughs> Sorry. I don't like you either. We're wanted men. I have the death sentence on 12 systems. I'll be careful. Okay, really though, what the hell did Luke even do? <laughs> like, to piss them off? Come, let me get you some. Okay. Ah! Ooh. Ah! I think that's the only time in all of Star Wars where someone gets... They get cut by a lightsaber and there's blood. It technically seals the wound right away because it's so hot, but... But dude, I remember the robot chicken version of that scene. <laughs> it's so good. Star Wars robot chicken is actually so, so good. The way they play on Star Wars is just, it's perfect. Let's just say we'd like to avoid any Imperial entanglements. Obi-Wan getting dirty here. I mean, Obi-Wan's always been like that. Even in Clone Wars, you know, he knows how to finesse. You're going to see your boss. Tell Jabba that I've got his money. Yeah, all got. Yes, I bet you have. My mm -hmm. Ooh, Han shot first. Sorry, he did. I like how Noah just gives a shit. They're just like, oh, what was that? All right, cool. It's not my business. I think it is mm. time you demonstrated the full power of this station. Set so forth for all of them. With pleasure. Mm -hmm. Damn. Alderaan just never catches a break. Old Republic cinematic trailers. That trailer goes so hard, though. Alderaan just can't catch a break. <laughs> this guy. This guy just has a horse dick on his, on his mask. I don't think we ever see him again. I used to know his name, but... Jabba, you're wonderful human being. Mm, human, yeah. In the original release, it was a human playing Java right there. Guys, if you have, if you guys have any fun facts that you think I might not know, please comment them down below. I would love to hear all your guys' fun facts. I feel like I know 98% of them. Chewie, get us out of here! Go, go, go! Why didn't you outrun him? I thought you said this thing was fast. Watch your mouth, kid. You're gonna find yourself floating home. <laughs> Don't ever disrespect the Millennium Falcon like that. Here's where the fun begins. How long before you Oh, here's where the fun begins. Oh my god. That's what Anakin says in episode three. Actually, I actually didn't know Han Solo said that, too. Wow. I should have expected to find you holding Vader's leash. <sighs> Not after we demonstrate the power of this station. I have chosen to test this station's destructive power on your home planet of Alderaan. Alderaan is peace, but we have no weapons. You can't You will possibly... prefer another target, a military target? Then name the system. Where is the rebel base? Dantooine. Dantooine. Continue with the operation. You may fire when ready. Mm. What? You're far too trusty. Dantooine yep. is too remote to make an effective demonstration, but don't yep. worry. Go on like that. Oh, Obi-Wan feels that. I felt a great disturbance in the force, as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror, suddenly silenced. Yeah, I can't even imagine how heavy your heart would feel after that, after feeling that. It's not wise to upset a Wookiee. But sir, nobody worries about upsetting a droid. That's because a droid don't pull people's arms out of their sockets when they lose. Yep, let him win. Let him win. Oh, Chewie's just... <laughs> let the Wookiee win. Yeah, great idea. See that? He's trying to predict where it's gonna be. He's not let he's not feeling it. Remember, a Jedi can feel the force flowing through him. <laughs> yep, that's what happens when you try and predict instead of feeling where it's gonna be. Mission weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side, kid. I've never seen anything to make me believe there's one all powerful force controlling everything. Mm. There's no mystical Oh he wants to say, alright, buddy. <laughs> This time, let go your conscious self mm -hmm. and act on instinct. Precisely. With the blast shield down, I can't even see. How am I supposed to fight? Your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. This is going to force you to use the force. <laughs> Not that time, but... <laughs> there we go. I call it luck. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. Mm. Look, good against remotes is one thing. Good against the living, it's something else. Not so rumors. <laughs> she lied. 
She lied to us. And you were gonna blow that shit up anyway. She could have risked that. A fighter that size couldn't get this deep into space on its own. Look at him, he's heading for that small moon. That's no moon. It's a space station. It's too big to be a space. That's your mother. Alright. If you know, you know. You can't win. But there are alternatives to fighting. Negotiations, and who knows, maybe they'll be short. I sense something. A presence I've not felt since. Mm, yep. I like how he didn't finish the sentence. It's just, sense of what? You know? And it's like, ah. Who's the more foolish? The fool or the fool who follows him? Yeah. Exactly. Very wise line. You know, I actually haven't seen the fight between Vader and Obi-Wan. Like, the full fight in a really long time. So I'm, I'm actually really excited to see it. And like, after watching a lot of reaction videos to this movie, they kind of like, everyone says it's like, it's eh. And like, I mean, yeah, it was made in 1977. What do you expect? But it's, it's not about the fight. It's not about the action. It's about the weight and the tension between the fight. But then again, you have to understand the context behind this to really get it, to really understand the weight behind it. And if it's your first time watching, then you, you're just, you're not gonna get it. You can't. So when people say like, oh, that was that was weak, it's like, I get why they say that, but for all of us watching this too, it's an entirely different experience watching it because we under we all know the full context. I'm just going alone. Whatever you say. Your destiny lies along a different path from mine. Yep. Obi-Wan knows how this is gonna end. He he knows it now. He knows what he has to do. I'm afraid she's scheduled to be terminated. <laughs> we gotta save her. We've gotta do something. What are you talking about? <laughs> He's like, we? Marching into the detention area is not what I had in mind. But they're gonna kill her! Better her than me. <laughs> She's rich. She's rich. Yep. <laughs> Can't argue that. Listen, if you were to rescue her, the reward would be... I don't know, I can imagine quite a bit. You'll get it. Now you're making sense to him. <laughs> you put those on. Don't worry, Chewie. I think I know what he has in mind. Mm -hmm. I like how Chewie only trusts Han to do that. Mm. Yep. Also, I have seen... I have seen... Scene 38 reimagined. It's, it's great. It's amazing. I wasn't notified. I'll have to clear it. Clear this. <laughs> yep. God, he's loose! <laughs> Get that off. Uh, everything's under control. Situation normal. What happened? Uh, hit a slight weapons malfunction. Here, no, thank yeah, you. Yeah, we're good, we're good. How are you? <laughs> we're sending a squad up. No, uh, not necessary. Uh, negative, negative. We have a, a reactor leak here uh, now. Give us a few minutes to lock it down. Uh, They're like, oh, there's a reactor up there? Your operating number. Yeah. <laughs> Boring conversation anyway. Classic. Ooh. Too short for a stormtrooper. <laughs> I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you. Two unit. I'm here with Ben Kenobi. Ben Kenobi? Where is he? Come on. Obi-Wan Kenobi. What makes you think so? The last time I felt it was in the presence of my old master. You, my friend, are all that's left of their religion. Obi-Wan is here. The Force is with him. I must it's face him alone. Him. Yeah, personal for him. Somebody have to save our skins. Mm -hmm. She'll do it herself. Uh, uh, Garbage. Really wonderful idea. Those are our only options. <laughs> Leia's not afraid to get dirty. Something just moved past my leg. Ew. <laughs> it's like a little water snake. I don't know. Just let go of me and disappear. Dude, that'd be such a shitty way to die. Dude, shout out Saw 6, I think. Saw 5, you know which one. One thing's for sure, we're all gonna be a lot thinner. <laughs> Use the comm link. Oh my. Oh, the comm link? Oh my, <laughs> yeah. Are you there, sir? Three me out! See, the comedy in this is perfect. It's not forced. It's not 
anything out of hand. That's not something C-3PO wouldn't normally say because he's been pretty pessimistic the entire movie. So it's like, obviously, yeah, he's going to think they're dying. And it's like, it's good timing. It's good writing. The comedy works really well. That's one thing I've appreciated about the OG trilogy. It fits in and it feels natural. Avoid any more female advice. We gotta be able to get out of here. Well, let's get moving. Bro, she saved our lives. <laughs> come here, you big coward. Chewy, come here. Oh, he's a little scaredy cat. Let's get one thing straight. I take orders from just one person, me. So one day he's still alive. <laughs> Look, Han, you wanna get paid or not, okay? You came in that thing? You're braver than I thought. Nice, come on. What a fucking sneak this. <laughs> Okay, it, since the stormtroopers are super accurate, at least the heroes miss too. Like Luke and Leia have missed their shots too, you know? It's not just they have perfect aim and the stormtroopers don't. Neither sides really have good aim, so balances out. Good luck. Dude, I want a replica of his lightsaber so bad. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's just waiting. I've been waiting for you, Obi Wan. We meet again, again at last. last. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. Only a master of evil, that. <laughs> <laughs> that will spin. Dude, I'm so used to like, as soon as he's saying it, only a master of evil, Darth, it's just turning into an intense fight because of scene 38 reimagined. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. You should not have come back. Ben? Mm. Yep. Yeah. Did it for the greater good. But like to me, that fight seems perfectly fine. Like it's perfectly acceptable. It's comforting Luke. You know, I get he's sad that Obi-Wan just died. Well, like, I can't believe he's gone. I can't believe my entire home planet just got blown up too. Like, there's no time to mourn. It's go, go, go. I don't know. And Robot Chicken also made a joke about it too. <laughs> Luke would never. That's it! We did it! We did it! Let's go! <laughs> oh, it's it great feel. You know, sometimes I amaze even myself. That doesn't sound too hard. <laughs> I love their dynamic. What's he carrying? The technical readouts of that battle station. I only hope that when the data's analyzed, a weakness can be found. Yeah, they don't even know for sure. Like, like they have no idea what it took to get those plans, too. That's why I love Rogue One. I wonder if he really cares about anything mm. or anybody. And that's why Han has such a great arc. Cause like, he, I believe her. Like, I believe he doesn't care about anything or anyone else. He cares about Chewie. Then like him and Chewie, and like that's it. Do you think a princess and a guy like me? No. <laughs> Shut that down real quick. <sighs> Here we are, Yavin Four. This is such a good map on Battlefront 2. Not not the newest one, like the really o the OG one. Like the OG OG one on like the original Xbox and th Xbox 360. When we heard about Alderaan, we feared the worst. We have no time for Sars Commander. Gotta stay strong, gotta keep pushing. Leia is a very strong character and I love it. An analysis of the plans provided by Princess Leia has demonstrated Leo. a weakness in the battle station. The target area is only two meters wide. Only a precise hit will set up a chain reaction. That's impossible, even for a computer. But it's not impossible. I used to bullseye, I bullseye want rats, rats back in these. Back home. They're not yep. much bigger than two meters. Bro, the womp rats weren't much bigger than two fucking meters. <laughs> like, what? You're standing in front of a womp rat that's a little bigger than two meters? Bro, that's like, it's like six feet. That's huge. Dude, that's literally six feet, five inches to be exact. That's a huge ass animal. That's right, yeah. Mm. That's some old debts I gotta pay off with this stuff. 
Nah. Even if I didn't, you don't think I'd be fool enough to stick around here, do you? Why don't you take a look around? Yeah. You know what's about to happen, what they're up against? Mm -hmm. They need everyone. Good the reward if you ain't around to use it. Besides, attacking that battle Self. station ain't my idea of courage. It's more like suicide. Take care of yourself, huh? Mm -hmm. I guess that's what you're best at, isn't it? May the force be with you. I appreciate that. But, you know, we know what he comes around later. It gets to him and he pulls up later and it's such a rewarding, satisfying moment. Fun fact, they only sent out 32 pilots against the Death Star right here. And only three of them come back. All the sacrifices are heavy. Sparks the hope for the rebellion. I butchered that line, but... Star 2 unit of yours seems a bit beat up. You want a new one? Fuck no. Not on your life. That little droid and I have been a lot together. Luke, the Force will be with you. All wings report in. Red 10 standing by. Red 7 standing by. Red 3 standing by. You know what I really like too? In Rogue One, and some of, there's some of the same pilots. Like imagine being the pilot. You fought in Rogue One in that battle. And now you're in this battle. Mm. It's a great way to pay homage to this too. By far my favorite Disney movie. My favorite Star Wars Disney movie. Object. I can hold it. Pull up! No, I'm all right. Come on! Trust your feelings. Mm -hmm. And it's like their squad is so small. Whenever any time a pilot dies, you get, you feel how much of an impact that has on it. Like you cannot afford to lose anyone. But like I said, only three of them come back. The movie doesn't really show that, but that's just like a, a fun fact that are like detail that I read a while ago. That POV was so sick. I can't hold and that was dude, that was a pinpoint. That was a perfect pinpoint on the computer, but <laughs> you know, I actually watched a really, really good breakdown of this scene on YouTube and it's like why the computer was never going to work. And it's such an amazing breakdown. I highly recommend it. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. <laughs> At that speed, we'll be able to pull out in time. It'd be just like Beggar's Canyon back home. Exactly. Our pros are pulling out. <laughs> Wait! Wait! <sighs> Hang on, R2. Oh yeah, he's worried. Use the force, Luke. The computer was never going to work. Strong and trust your guts. That's the only way you're gonna hit an accurate enough shot. That's it. Dude, that's tough that Vader's the one who shot that shot too. I have you now. Oh, what? Yeah, bro. Let's go. Han pulled up. I mean, yeah, we knew it, but like. Honestly, R.I.P. R.I.P. Tarkin. He was a good character. He's such a dickhead in Clone Wars and Bad Batch, but like, great character. Very well written. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Mm -hmm. It really was. The Force will be with you, always. <laughs> hey! Hey! Well, I was gonna let you get all the credit and take all the rewards. Hey, I need the money. <laughs> Oh no. Oh my. Oh. <gasps> Not R2. You mm -hmm. must repair him. Sir, yeah. if any of my circuits or gears will help, I'll gladly donate them. He'll be oh. Free. 3PO might talk some shit, but when it really comes down to it, that's his boy. Mm -hmm. Our boys. Alright. Well, that was. A New Hope. 
All right, well, this movie 100% holds up so well today. But this isn't just a movie that you remember being good because of the nostalgia. No, this movie's just good. It's good every single time you watch it. It sets up everything so perfectly. My favorite part of the movie isn't the ending. It isn't the climax of it. All that's really good, don't get me wrong, but I would say my favorite part earlier in the movie or Obi-Wan tells Luke about Anakin. That has to be my favorite part of the entire movie movie like luke's just like my it's like you fought in the clone wars you know it's just like so much interest in that and it's like yes he did he really did it's just the prequels and the show clone wars add so much to that it's like luke you have no idea what went down in the clone wars you have no idea and then everyone's just like i was once a jedi knight the same as your father and it's like you have no idea how much weight that holds right there first time watching you you have no idea how much weight that holds right there the fact that Obi-Wan chose to speak, chose to only speak highly of Anakin right there, even after what happened in Revenge of the Shit. Technically, like I was saying earlier in the movie, technically, by the time he did all the terrible things, he wasn't Anakin anymore. He was Darth Vader. So you can't say anything bad about Anakin, technically. And like, dude, shout out to Alec Guinness for his performance in that scene, because obviously at the time you have no idea in making that story, but I feel like he portrayed it perfectly for what went down prior to it. He portrayed the sadness the guilt he feels that he's responsible for it and just how much he misses Anakin it was great it was really good but going to the end scene right there like I said I recently watched a video about the end scene and why the computer was never going to work during the ending right there during the climax is like how nervous all these X fighters look too during it there was one of them he was about to fire the shot into the Death Star and like he was just sweating bullets it was a, it was such a big moment for him i highly recommend that video if you haven't seen it it's by it's literally called the, the targeting computer was never going to work by ben from canada i'll put it a I'll put it on the screen again so you guys can see it so you know exactly which video I'm talking about, but he breaks down the scene perfectly. I, I don't want to just repeat everything he said and just, you know, just go watch the video. It's only like 13 minutes. Okay, now where would I rank this movie in all of the Star Wars movies? Okay, I'm not going to give away my complete ranking yet. As we watch the movies, I'll give you where I would place that movie without giving away the rest of the list. For A New Hope, I would personally put that, it's either at three or four for me. Once we get to revenge of the sith i'll br i'll break down the list one through six exactly why i think they all rank where they do and everything but for right now i think i'd put a new hope at three or four to be honest it's tied with something else with another movie but i think you guys can predict what i would rank one and two and that's pretty obvious but three and four i'm conflicted i'm gonna have to wait until we watch the movie i have it tied at three or four with you know get it fresh in my mind and then i'll see i'm leaning more towards a new hope at four than i am three though you could you can make an argument three or four like i wouldn't be mad about either either placement but it was really fun to watch this movie and have it fresh in my mind you know please if you saw this movie in theaters in 1977 please let me know what you thought about it down below in the comments one thing I thought was really cool that always intrigued me was I, I used to watch that 70s show and I remember Star Wars is a really big deal in that 70s show like Eric was obsessed with it and so was Kelso. I remember the episode where they went to go and see Star Wars and Kelso was just freaking out about it and Jackie was like what's the big deal it's just a movie and he's like Jackie it's Star Wars you know it was so fun it was so satisfying to watch that in that 70s show. But yeah, let me know what you thought about it. If you saw it in theaters back in 1977, I would love to hear it. But yeah, I don't want to ramble on for too long, but that was a new hope. Comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.